Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today we're going to be creating a full design pack for a live stream channel, a full revamp, if you will, without using Photoshop, without installing any software, really, without any graphic design knowledge whatsoever. I'm going to repress mine. Now imagine if there was a service online that allows you to customize everything in details, your logos, your banners, your avatar, anything you can really think of that would allow you to choose the colors, move things around, choose the fonts and everything without having any prior graphic design knowledge. Well, as you probably guessed by now, this video is sponsored by placeit.com. Net. I would tell you what it's about, but the whole video is going to explain that. So let's get right into it. Okay, I had to close the blinds because the light was blinding. All right, so the first step is obviously go to placeit.net. This is the front page uh, and I'm going to log in. All right, I'm logged in. Let's say we're doing a Twitch channel, for example, right? Because keep in mind, this works for Mixer. It works for YouTube. It works for pretty much anything. I'm going to type Twitch, for example. Let's see what suggestions we get twitch has 700 products okay have twitch panels twitch banner twitch logo let's start with logo because i think logo is one of the hardest things to come by creating logo requires work it requires talent and uh or it requires money now if we scroll down here you might think okay there's only 45 different logos what if i don't like those and then you realize if you hover over them there's actually multiple styles. Those are styles, technically. Those are not like the logo that you're gonna get. Those are just like the basic style. Um, let's say that I like this one. I actually do like this one, okay? I'm gonna click on it, and then I realize I can change everything about it if I don't like it. I even get a preview of what it would look like if it was animated, like an animated logo intro already generated. Now, keep in mind that my internet is really, really bad. So if you have better internet than me, then this, this whole process is going to go even faster. OK, let's say you don't like the main picture. OK, you don't like the astronaut and, and that's fine. You have a list here. OK, it looks like a lot of images. Let's scroll down. It loads up even more images. Scroll down again. Scroll down again. Stro like there's so many images you can choose from. Let's just pick this one, for example. Boom, our image has a whole new look. Let's try to pick a better one. I don't like that one. Okay, boom, Frankenstein, whatever. All right, let's change the text and have our own text. Okay, so my name is Gal Level, so I'm gonna put Gal Level. Wait a little bit, and then it will update. Gal Level, and I'm gonna put Gaming, for example. All right, now there are main colors that you can actually change. So our background is kind of uh, black, and then we have blue and yellow. Let's change that. Probably already know that my color scheme is actually purple and cyan. So let's try to do that. And obviously you can also change the background, right? You can change whatever color you want. I usually like a, a brighter gray and a dark gray. There you go. So let's say that this would be my logo, right? If I click here on the update thing and wait a little bit, it actually shows me an animated, a little preview of an animated version. If I click on it, it is a different template technically. So it might not look exactly the same, but if you just want to go and get that, you can just get in there and then do it. It basically transferred my preferences of this product to this animated. As you can see here, it says animated logo maker. So that's a different template. Let's replay it real quick. And boom, that could be like your YouTube intro. Anyways. Let's go back to the other one. So your logo is here. What do you do now? If you're not done, you don't have time to finish tinkering with it. You can actually save the draft. Top right, you click here, save the draft, and you're going to have a list of things that you're going to work on. You can add to favorites because if that template is something you like, you want to come back to it later. That's cool. But if you're done, you can just click download. It will download the image and then you can use it. If you're thinking about copyright, know that it's OK for commercial use. OK, now we did a logo. Let's uh, check out a banner, for example. Which banner now here we have obviously like a bunch of options minimalistic and then in those banners one thing you'll realize is that you actually get more option there's also overlays like offline images which is really cool even I can't decide which one, which one to choose okay let's click this one all right what did I mean by having even more option here you can select specific graphics move them around delete them you can add new graphics again Let's uh, try to give that a purple. All right, cool. Uh, the text here, right or purple. Change the text. Again, when it comes to the logo, 
you can change that pick something that is consistent with what you have there's even a little search bar if you're looking for something precisely right now it's set to horror i can go maybe if i type which one do we pick frankenstein franken okay we're good we're good is that the exact one yes and then boom my new logo is here that's so cool and now that's the different graphics so the arrow is going to be there you can add more and if you add more it's going to be to the left here well i think my camera is in front of it to the left here and then again you can pick colors you can add a bunch of graphics if you want it's great and if you want to get rid of it i haven't found a better way to get rid of it yet than just clicking and dragging it away you can expand this thing by clicking here expand you can collapse it Okay, anyways, let's just check uh, Twitch panels, for example. Whoop, panel comes up here, and they have a lot of a lot of them for the panels. Look at that. And the cool thing here is that if you're smart, you can use a panel, like the panel templates. You can make, you can actually make uh, sponsor banners with them. If you don't know what a sponsor banner is, it's what I call a social media pop-up. So basically, you can use it to make those little things that pops up and say, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, or whatever. As you can see here, we have the full breakdown of how this was made. So we have the, the different elements. So if you want to add different elements and really customize it, make it really, really, really yours. Well, it's not an issue at all. Just try to keep consistent with your color. Well, I'm giving you graphic design advice now. Uh, try to keep your colors consistent. Uh, make everything look the same, pretty much. And yeah, again, you know, the About Me panel, you can put this. If you're putting social media, let me see what they have. If I type social, boom, here's SoundCloud, here's Instagram, uh, here's Twitter, here's Facebook, YouTube. Just click on it and then create your new panel and then download. All right. Now we talked about Twitch templates. If we click on Twitch templates, oh, maybe we should, maybe I should show you overlays, for example. They're so good. They're so, so good. OK, check check this out. Just click on one random. Right. So here you can basically create your full gaming overlay from scratch, you know, camera overlay in there, everything in there. And again, you have your different elements. That's the camera overlay. Um, you have top donator, new follower. You can change all of that on the left for the text. You can add new text. A cool option is the suggestions of presets. Like don't know where to begin. Try a preset. You can just go and click on another one and have something pretty different. Keep the colors consistent. Once again, I'll let me click Twitch and play it again. Let's find something like an offline screen or like this one, for example. Whoop. Where is it? Disappeared. No, it didn't. There you go. Here, on top of all the different elements that are in there, you can also choose like the backgrounds can be totally different. And like there's so many options. And like right now, the search is Northern Lights. You can type whatever. If I type war, for example, because, you know, I know you guys love FPS games and they're all about that war. <laughs> Boom. War image. What is that? Oh, my God, that's dope. Okay, that doesn't really fit because of the color contrast, but you can change all that. You can change all that. Here, of course, where it says Instagram or YouTube or whatever, that's where you would put your at. You know, I'm not going to do it for all of them, but you get the idea. There's so many options. It's almost as if it was unlimited options. Let me click on, on that um, complete graphic set. Cool. It looks good, but your boy need his purple okay purple and red doesn't really match i mean it doesn't really fit my stuff so let me find something else okay okay that's a knight okay okay that's not bad but anyways i'm not gonna customize this whole thing so basically you go in there you customize if you type stuff like avatar here's the cool part too if you type stuff like avatar because that is something that is kind of particular there's so many options that some specific stuff such as avatars are quite important it's not an av avatar maker it's not a shibi maker but you do get a ton of you know in the video game cartoon section you get a ton of options right um it's actually weird because it showed me more before did i type it wrong oh there you go okay so if you're looking like for a mascot or whatever it's there it's there and you can customize it right and you can switch up the colors and everything so it's dope let's put that in cyan there you go this is kind of purplish i'll take it and of course you have a ton of option bottom here you can see a couple of them there's so much stuff that i can't make a video show showcasing everything but keep in mind that if you want to make merch and you want to place it uh or if you just want to create merch design you can already um use 
replace it. You want to create Instagram posts, uh, YouTube templates, for example, because we talked about Twitch, but YouTube is very important too. Um, everything is there. So animated stuff will be in there too. Look at that. Boom, your logo here. Pretty much no effort. You just type your logo and then the animation is there. Just download the video and then add it as your intro. Let's check this one out. All right, let's replay this because my internet is trash. There you go. And of course, for the payments, um, there are some products that are free on the website. OK, so you can just look for the free products if you want to try it out. And then, uh, of course, the two options are either pay for what you created or get a subscription. One thing that is very important to note here is that unlike many of other uh, generic generators on the internet, those have like th this file is like huge. <laughs> You're going to get high quality stuff. Basically, it's not, you know, you, you don't create something and then get it for 200 by 200. The quality is absolutely there. Plus, the website gives you commercial use as uh, the, the copyright form. So even though the possibilities are pretty much endless, I think I showed you the basic principle of you can do anything. <laughs> Obviously, I would like to say a huge thanks to Placeit.net for sponsoring this video, and I would like to recommend you guys try it out. Try it out and see if you like it. Uh, there will be an affiliate link in the description. So if you end up purchasing anything from the website through my link, it will actually help me out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any technical issues, please take it to placeit.net because I wouldn't know how to answer those. But anyways, let me know what you think about it after you tested it out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.